This is what we are working on today. Now this is a little coffee station in the kitchen and I am going to fallify it, bringing in all those earthy, warm fall colors. Over the weekend, I couldn't help myself. I, 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 I brought out some fall and I started kind of plugging and playing in different areas of the house. And do you know, my girls stopped by yesterday, two of them, and they didn't say anything about my fall decorating. And I said, girls, did you not notice all the fall decorating I've done? And they started, they're like, oh, and then they started looking around and it was like crickets. Cue the crickets. And I thought to myself, do they not like it? That's what I'm thinking. And I said, what, what? You guys, you guys don't like what I've done? And they both immediately said, mom, this isn't you. This, this doesn't look, you need more. This, this, this is too sparse. We want you to go all out. Do you believe they said that? Here I am trying to be more sophisticated in my styling of things, a little more sparse here and there, and they want me to bring it all out. So with that said, I started sparse here, and behind the camera, I have got a slew of fall decor pieces that I've kind of brought in and I've been playing with, and if the maximalist list comes out, it's all going up there. Yeah, it should be fun. So let's see what I do. We have those three shelves to style and then we're gonna style things down here. Maybe we'll put two things um, up in those cabinets. I haven't had a chance to go out and buy some pretty fall mugs. Um, I just have the classic black and white coffee mugs that actually say coffee on them. And I found some on Amazon that I think are really pretty. They're like stoneware mugs and they're sort of a brownie, orange more on the brown side though they're really pretty um i was thinking about getting those to add that pop of fall color we'll revisit this soon so what i'm going to put up there is a big tray and i have seen these at home goods everybody has these they're super popular they come in oval and square and round i have the square one and the round one but i'm going to put this square one up there it looks like this really really pretty why am i putting it up there i'm going to do that to add some warmth i love a white cabinet don't get me wrong but during the fall season bring on the brown bring on the beige now i'm going to go in with this beautiful wispy autumn wreath from amazon Isn't that pretty? I just love it. I love how the dark of the tray kind of frames this wall space and breaks up all the white. I love the light beige background against this pop of autumn color. I think it's gorgeous. Now I'm thinking of adding a leaf plate there and then one there. Okay guys, I've been playing so let me point you up for a second. That's what it looks like right now. And I was thinking on either side, right here and right there, I could go in with two plate holders. I found this on Amazon last year. They're called um, pumpkin, I think trivets, I think. And I've got two different ones and I thought I could set one pumpkin on either side and make it sort of more natural looking but my eyes keep going to the color. So let me show you a couple other options. Let me know, would you go with the wood pumpkins or the green leaf or the brown leaf? I could go in with this leaf, one on either side. I mean, leaves and fall go hand in hand. So pumpkin, brown leaf or green leaf. I don't know, my eyes keep going to this, although all of them look great. Decisions, decisions. Okay, so here's what it looks like all by itself. It needs, it needs a little love. Here it is with the green leaf. 
Here it is with the brown leaf. And here it is with the wood pumpkin. See, they all look great. Oh, I don't know what to do. Green is popping for me, so I'm gonna do the green. I love it. I love, love, love these green leaf plates. So that is the look for the top shelf. So cute, I love it. So now I'm gonna add in a reflective property and I'm gonna bring in some amber colored glass. Okay, now you see two amber colored vases behind me. This one I got at Home Goods, as well as this one. And I like how the two shapes are different. And really all I'm gonna do is set them beside each other. looks so far. Now I want to add in a pop of beautiful florals to one of the vases and then I'm going to set another one right there. These are from Amazon. They're absolutely stunning. Last I checked they were unavailable so I'll have to look today. Um, but anyway I'll link them below so if they do come back in stock you can grab yourself some. They're really pretty. They fluff out beautifully. And I think I'm just gonna put one in the tall vase and then set this one on the shelf. It's different and it's unique. And I like how the color kind of ties in with some of the color in the wreath. Hmm, maybe I should add an acorn up there. I don't know. I have this little acorn, so I might just sit it right here. So I set a little acorn right there and I think it looks cute. Okay, so I'm loving the look and now I'm gonna go in with this large serving board. I got this at Home Goods. I, I think it was last year. What I'm gonna do with this board is I'm going to stick it right there to kind of fill in all that white space. And now I'm gonna go in with this rustic wood riser. And to this, I'm gonna add this brown jug, just like that. Now I'm gonna go in with this big metal leaf from Amazon. I want to go in and add a little pop of green. So I have this adorable little flimsy topiary that I got on Amazon. Anyway, I'm going to put it in this rustic bowl like this. So do you guys remember when I hauled these beautiful serving boards? They were under $5. I couldn't believe it when I saw them on Amazon for the price and the quality. And so I snagged two of them. And then when I shared these with you guys, they literally sold out. They sold out super fast. And um, I don't know if they're still available or not. I'll have to check, but I'm gonna link everything below. But these were a steal of a deal, you guys. I love finding little surprises like that on Amazon. It's like a treasure hunt. What I'm gonna do is stack two. Why? I just think it looks kind of cool. Watch what I do. So I hauled these a while back 
and once I got them and started playing with them, I fell in love. So <laughs> I went and ordered three bags because I think these are a find on Amazon. I'm gonna go like that. So anyway, these are so cute to style with in your displays. So yeah, watch what I do. So I'm gonna take some greenery like this and place it up there. Loving it. Now I'm going to go in with this large serving board from Target. I was drawn to the size and the handles, which I think make it look unique. And this is going to become Operation Conceal the Electrical Outlet. Now I want to add something in this little corner here. And it's got to be festive and cute. I love uh, rustic touches in my home. So I have yet another wood piece. It's, it's a tray, see? I'm going to place it right there. And I think I'm gonna angle it to give it a little character. Do any of you watch Rebecca Fraser here on YouTube? I'm gonna link her channel below. I love her, I love her style, I love her heart. She is just so genuine, so beautiful, so talented. And anyway, she shared a video where she had, um, she was using a textural kind of wreath like this. I'm not sure if it's the same one, it, it may be, I don't know. Um, but I found one similar on Amazon. I love these so much that I just ordered two more. These, I think these are gonna go fast. I love these. It looks so real, it's, it's just beautiful. But what I'm gonna do is this. I have a black cake stand. To this, I'm going to add this wreath. Isn't that beautiful? Love. <laughs> I'm going to go in with these two adorable pumpkins that I found at Home Centric, although I found another comparable version here on Amazon, so I'll be sure to link it below in case you guys like this look. So I have never tried these candles before but I was at a little um, shop in town that sells a lot of mud pie decor and I came across these candles and when I sniffed the scent, I said, that's for me. And it's called Pumpkin Dolce. It's, it's fall in a jar, I'm telling you. Um, and it's actually a very beautiful jar. They also sell these on Amazon. So I got myself a big one and a little one. And I think they're so cute. So I'm bringing in all these earthy fall colors. And when I saw this, uh, this was at Target. I liked the little handles and it's just, it was different. So I'm gonna set this over here by the coffee maker and add some fall touches. So Hobby Lobby sells this garland and it's roughly $13.99-ish if I remember correctly. And I used to buy these all the time and I would cut them according to whatever display I was doing. And so I'd have some that were full length and some that were shorter. They just, they look so real. <laughs> To that, I have some, I think these are Dollar Tree pumpkins from years ago. And I've always been fond of these and I always bring them out every season. So I'm gonna put three in that bowl. Last but not 
not least on the top shelves, I'm gonna go in with these pumpkin trivets that I got on Amazon. And I think it'll just kind of tie all the wood pieces in. Although, I could place the leaves up there as well. I don't know. Is it gonna be too much color? I'm kind of thinking of going with these. turned out really cute and I think my girls will be happy with me because I added more. For me, it definitely says fall. Fall's here, fall's arrived, fall is here to stay for the next several months. video for today. I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me, watching me fallify the kitchen area. And join me on Friday. We're going to be up to more fall decorating, plugging and playing all over the house. Also want to thank you guys for all of your lovely comments. I am so sorry I haven't been responding back as much as I have in the past. Uh, we've been, we've just been so busy, you guys. It's been crazy the, this, the last few months. So, um, Anyway, I know there's a lot of you who are sending your babies off to college this week, and I'm sending you guys all hugs and love. And for all the moms out there, several of you in the comments below were saying that um, your your kids are getting married and that that's, that's sort of hard right now too. It's like you're happy for them, but then it's like, then they're really off and flying. So just sending you guys all big hugs, you know? <sighs> Being a mom, it's hard sometimes. You know, it is. We love our kids and we want to hold on to them. But like you guys said, we got to let them fly. So anyway, thank you guys. And I will see you Friday. Bye guys.